don't want to cut yourself. I'm going to do these once I... Oh. Oh. Alrighty, guys. What is going on? So we're back. It took me a little bit longer than I wanted to because pretty much I'm right, I was riding that whole piece of harness through this hole right here. So it took me a little while, but needless to say, it's done, guys. The harness is out. And you know what that means, guys. Here she is. I had to take some of the loom uh, cover off because it literally would not fit through the hole with all the plugs and stuff. And I'd <clears throat> rather give that to him like that and tell him that he's going to have to rewrap it or... Or rather do that than give him one with like broken connectors, guys. So, with that being said, it's out. So that means that we're about to wheel the engine up front here. Because now we're not waiting on anyone else or anyone else's parts that I have to give to them. Now I can finally focus on the engine, guys. So we're going to get tearing that apart. Uh, but just for now, since it's pretty late already where I'm at, um, we're just going to go ahead and pull it up here and just kind of have it staged, figure out where I'm going to put the dash and all that stuff for now, uh, cause the engine is going to be up here. So stay tuned guys. I'm about to do that right now. Alrighty guys, we got it moved. Uh, I put the, just went ahead and set the dash top of the hood here I mean it doesn't really weigh much uh, this was kind of a task here it's hard to see but only the front wheels on that have a caster so I had to like push the truck forward because I was having clearance issues right here between the uh, the wheel and the wall so push the truck up got it past the wall push the truck back got it past the truck uh, so that was simple enough once I got that figured out here we are guys it's officially up here so actually, I think I'm gonna rotate it here. Um, so I'm just gonna set this down. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it because I'm gonna have to hit up the bottom. Um, so, you know, just run this through real quick. We're gonna do, so I'm gonna run, uh, I have to take this off, uh, crank pulley. I have a pulley puller, uh, specifically for like harmonic balancers and crank pulleys and stuff. Uh, cause if I'm not mistaken, these are pressed in or, uh, at least an interference fit. Um, so that's the easiest way to do that. Um, I'm then going to, uh, take this timing cover off, pull off the timing chain, all that stuff, get all that pulled. And then I'm going to start taking things out. So I'm going to probably pull out the cam first. Cam's going to come out the front, pull out the crank next. Um, and yeah, so the easiest way to do that would be honestly the other way around, even though the cam will be underneath, uh, just the hardest part is going to be breaking that bolt. Uh, so we're just going to do that real quick and then we'll, uh, be, be good to go for tonight. Cause it's our, like I said, it's already, uh, pretty late. It's like past 2am. So we're going to do that real quick. Uh, if I can get this pin pulled, let's see. Samaritan. Alright. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to like show my butt.
because of that. Rotate. Mm. So the thinking, believe it or not, might be a little bit front heavy. Let's see if this helps. Maybe. I just didn't know that it's hard. Torch that a little bit. Oops. There's no way that it's too high up front. very confused. So it's too far forward. I give up guys that I'll figure this out tomorrow like I said it's too late right now so I'm not even worried about it uh, with that being said guys that is gonna be it for this video I want to thank everyone so much for tuning in all my likes all my followers or subs and uh, everyone who just sat around watched the video like I said hasn't been the most exciting um, because we're doing the boring stuff right now it's about to get exciting now um still need to source some heads
So I need to put this rotating assembly for sale. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another day here at Just Because Racing. <clears throat> so in the last video guys, uh, you guys saw I finally got that harness out. I got all the guys gear out. Uh, so right now, what I'm getting ready to do, uh, we just got done moving the engine forward. Um, I actually ended up getting it rotated. Pretty much it was just too much front weight. So I had to like lift it up, kind of prop it with my leg on the crank pulley while I pulled the pin out. Um, probably have to do that again to put the pin back in, but at this very moment I'm not worried. Um, so we're just getting ready to pull the oil pan right now. Uh, like I said, it was cracked. The last guy dropped the engine on the ground because he thought he could lift it on his own and he could not. Uh, so there was only like five bolts in here anyways, or six maybe. Uh, so it was like the two front ones, uh, this one, and then these two longer back ones. So these two back ones go down to here, thread into this portion down here. Um, so they were all on there, or those five were on there. They're all pretty loose. Um, so I'm going to set this down, see if I can't get the, well, somewhere good to set it first. Actually. Alright. That works pretty well. Alright guys, so... I said we're just gonna pull this off real quick. Um, for now, this is what we're gonna do. We have to tear this whole thing apart. This whole pan is garbage. It's literally junk because uh, it got blown up by the ground. So. Sorry about that guys. Um, so yeah, let's take a look in here. Also garbage is cracked whenever he, oh. Smells a little watery, but I think it's probably from uh, the guy that I bought the engine from. It was just like outside, or well, the engine was inside, but he had a bunch of, I don't know, there was a lot of things moving around. So my assumption is at one point, spend some time outside. Um, so just give me one second here. I'm going to set this down, clean up my hands a little bit, and then uh, and maybe put in a flashlight, see what that looks like in there. So just give me two seconds. Not a real good way to do this. I'm not good. So, just real quick on this video, um, I'm going to just put a light in there and see if we can see anything. As long as we don't see anything bent or snapped in half. You know what? I've changed my mind, and I think what I'm actually going to do, so I'm just going to take this uh, skirt off here real quick, or girdle, catch, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, well, this isn't very promising. Mm, hold on. Found this little piece of plastic here. Let's see if we can scoop out some of this chunk in here. That looks like a thick piece. Something might, no. I don't know. Honestly, not 100% sure. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off this whole pickup tube. 
There's already a bolt missing there, which is not good. And it's just got one bolt there. So we're gonna take this off and this cover and we're just gonna see what I'm looking at here, guys. So I'm just gonna speed through that real quick. Uh, like I said, it's just these 12 bolts or 10 bolts. 10, 12, uh, whatever. Nine or 10 bolts. Uh, just gonna take that off and then we're gonna inspect them to there and see what it's looking like, guys. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll be right back with that. All right, guys, so we got those bolts out. Sorry, something in my eye. So we got those bolts out. We're about to just pull this off. Uh, Shoot this pop right off. So I'm just gonna set this down real quick and then we'll pull that off. Just let some readjust everything on this stand. So bear with. Okay, let's see. Alright guys, so, um, nothing too fancy to look at here, we're going to test rod bearings here, so you'll usually get slop in here, you got to be careful, these engines are all machined edges, so, I want to cut yourself, I'm going to do these once I, oh, oh, okay, well, so this is what we're looking for. This is why we're doing rod bearings on top of it. See that play? So that's no good. There might need, I don't even know, whatever. Look at that. Look at that in a sec. Um, erg, that kind of bothers me. This chain's got some slack too. But, I'll just check these here. Okay guys, so not too bad. We have a literal absolute uh, failure of the rod bearing on cylinder number, I don't know how Chevy number is there, but pretty much this is gonna be, if we flipped it over, that'd be driver side cylinder two, um, forward to, uh, you know, forward looking back. Um, sorry, let's just remember I was going to get my flashlight. So there is a puddle, a bit of a puddle of oil in there, but that is, uh, it's probably just from something that didn't drain fully here. Um, and then once we rotate it over, it's just going to fall into the cylinder. So I'm not too worried about that. Honestly, for, for having a thrown bearing, I mean, it probably had a crazy rod knock. This crank is probably pretty crispy but uh yeah guys so not the yeah rotate hold on let me see if i'm gonna take this so guys okay so it was rotating it was rotating before too and i bought it so we have this cylinder so i'm gonna just look on the underside that's pretty close to tdc um TDC top dead center if you guys are not aware um you know the cylinder wall itself doesn't look bad it's not too bad can't complain um well I can because to my knowledge the guy said when I bought it sorry guys I'm trying to rotate it to get it to the bottom so I can look at this on the other side now that I know which one I'm looking at yeah should be bottom Mm, crispy crispy anyways uh the guy said it ran perfectly and before he before he got pulled out of the truck so i'm a little annoyed but that's all right okay so that cylinder i mean we felt them all they were all really clean yeah that feels fine oh yeah yeah <clears throat> so guys if there's one thing that we can just take from this 
excuse me, I'm sorry. Just from right now, always do your oil changes. This thing never got oil changes. 10,000 miles probably between oil changes. And guess what? Bearings like lubrication, not sludge. So this is what starts happening. So do it, man. Just do it. Take it to the shop if you don't want to do it yourself. Better that way than not getting done. That is so bad. But anyways, all right, guys. So from here on, I'm going to start working. Uh, we have to get the front half off cam. Uh, um, uh, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I'm going to get out the uh, crank pulley, all that. And then once we do that, we can pull the crank out. Or, well, start disconnecting rods and stuff, caps, and then uh, pull those out, get that all ready to go to the shop. Um, so I'm sending this engine to the shop, to the machine shop, so get cleaned up. It needs a cleaning, especially. But anyways, it needs a good cleaning. So we're gonna send it to the shop, get it nice and cleaned up, maybe paint it, I haven't decided, but um, definitely something that has to get done. Um, so that's why we're tearing it all the way apart on top of swapping out the internals, um, which I'm probably going to send those to get cleaned as well, uh, since it did come off a used engine. Uh, so yeah, guys, just stay tuned. How's it going, guys? So we're back here. Um, so uh, as you guys seen throughout the video, we got parts of the 6.0 taken apart. And uh, like I was explaining just there at the end, sorry, I'm going to try to put my hand here so that it doesn't block or so it blocks out that black lighting um so the next thing we just got to do is we're gonna have to pull the crank pulley um pull off the timing cover and then once we can get uh, the timing chain and all that off um we're gonna undo these mains here rod bolts everything like that get the pistons out and then we're just gonna get us down to a bare block um all these internals, I'm gonna inspect this. My goal is to sell it, but if this is pretty torched, then um, you know, if these if this rod or this crank is too severely you know scarred up, then we're probably just gonna junk it. Um <clears throat> and leave that at that. Um once I get all those internals out, I'm gonna make a phone call to the machine shop, get an exact quote of exactly what I'm trying to get cleaned up and everything like that. Um so this way I can take that into the shop. So guys, in the next video, we're gonna fully tear down the 6.0 and then um, I'm gonna contact the machine shop and then from there, I'll keep you guys posted on what they tell me, time frame like that um, and stuff like that. I got a couple other things I could source, um, holly system, all that, trans. Um, so uh, we'll cross that bridge once we get to it here in the next video. But that is going to be it for now, guys. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Thank you so much for all the likes and subs. It's much appreciated, guys. It really, really means a lot to me that I, uh, I have so many people like just tuning into this build. It's really super amazing, honestly. Um, and we're not just doing this build. We're going to be doing more builds here on this channel. Uh, for now, due to capacity, we're just going to go one by one. But yeah, guys, with that being said, that's going to be it. And as always, you guys just remember that if anyone ever asks you why you do what you do, you tell them it's just because. And I'll catch y'all next time.